What's up y'all, today we're gonna be breaking down credit repair company Lexington Law. But really, we're gonna be going even deeper than that. You see, I'm gonna talk about some of the things that nobody in the credit repair space wants to put out there and be honest about. By the end of this video, I think your mind's gonna be blown and you'll know whether you even need Lexington Law's help. So let's jump into it. Now, just for a quick intro, Lexington Law is one of the biggest credit repair companies in the industry. According to them, in 2020 alone, their clients saw over 7 million negative items removed from their credit reports. Now, towards the end of this video, I plan on showing you how to go about getting the best results from credit repair companies and Lexington Law specifically. But first, let me explain the secret on how credit repair companies actually work and why people have mixed results. Now, most reputable credit repair companies, I gotta put emphasis on that reputable part, just so you guys know that there is some shady characters out there that aren't gonna follow these steps. Now, reputable credit repair companies are typically gonna leverage the laws like the FCRA, which is the Fair Credit Reporting Act, and the FDCPA, which is the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. And that's really what the, the main two laws that they're leveraging to get you deletions. There's other ones out there, but these are the key ones that uh, when I was running a credit repair company, that's what I was focusing on, and that's what majority of these credit repair companies are gonna focus on. So really when it comes down to it, there's no magic to it, right? It's pretty much about getting one of the contributors to that negative account to slip up. Now that can be the data furnisher, which is the creditor or the debt collector, or it can even be the credit bureaus. And when I say you want one of these guys to slip up, it can literally be as simple as, you know, the date is off, right? You know, if you look at your credit report, you're gonna see that you got a bunch of dates in terms of, you know, your date of last payment, date that you open the account, whatever the case may be. If any of these numbers are off, that can be a reason for you to be able to get the account deleted. It could even be something, for example, like an amount is incorrect, right? You know, if you have a credit card, it shows what you paid every single month, what you owed every single month, right? If, for example, that amount is off by $1,000, off by $100, whatever the case may be, then it's quite possible that you can get that thing deleted. So what I'm trying to clarify here is it's not necessarily about whether you did it or not. It's more about whether it's 100% accurate and verifiable. So with that said, it really just comes down to who is actually more knowledgeable about the law. Hence the Lexington Law branding, right? That's the reason why they put law in their name. So I previously shot a Lexington Law review video and a lot of people asked me afterwards, you know, you're reaching out to me saying, why are there mixed reviews, right? Why are some people, you know, you'll, you'll see comments from people on both ends, right? You'll see people who say, you know, Lexington Law worked for me. I got 10 accounts deleted in the first two months and my score shot up. But then you'll see the other side of it where people say, you know, I've been with them for six months and my score has barely changed. I only have two deletions so far, right? You see both of those spectrums. So my thoughts on why is this, right? They're not properly setting expectations, okay? You know, you wanna be letting people know that they have some work to do on their end. A clear example is this. Most people don't realize that 30% of your score is actually your utilization right? Or your credit card debt. So pretty much it's as simple as if you pay down your credit cards, your score is going to go up. And because it's literally 30% of your score, you can literally, if you had maxed out credit cards and you pay down all your credit cards to zero, you will see your score could possibly shoot up 100, 150 points just like that. So that's really the big thing, right? They're not really out there setting clear expectations when it comes to, you know, the work that you might have to do on your end. Also, they're not setting clear expectations on their end as well. They're not giving you a clear picture of how successful they may have been at getting accounts removed in the past. Now I'm gonna be giving you guys an example here where Lexington Law makes this a bit tough. So let's jump into success rates. Now, most companies out there don't wanna tell you how successful they are at getting removals or deletions, right? And which to a certain degree is understandable. I get it. You know, every credit file is going to be different, but I do think that once you have enough data, credit files, right? Once you've worked through enough credit files, you should be able to know statistically your probability of actually getting deletions. Even when I was running my credit repair company, we would be able to have a general idea like, hey, you know, we're able to get 10%, 20% of negative items removed by the first month. By month two, we have another 20% removed. By month three, you know, those are statistics that we kept so that way we could see how our performance was. So internally, all credit repair companies should be keeping it. It's not really a statistic you wanna publish unless you've had a significant amount of, you know, files that you worked on, right? Because then it you can actually give out an average that's pretty reasonable. Now, Lexington Law, which they've stated that back in 2010, they said that they had over a million people sign up. Despite that fact, Lexington Law doesn't specifically state what their success rate is, but I found an interesting stat on their website that can actually give us an idea. 
Now this data that they pulled is from almost 140,000 credit files. Now you can see that they say that 89% of clients who saw their credit improve saw an average increase of 40 points. Now the key word here is clients who saw their credit improve. So 89% out of those clients. But if you click a little deeper if, in you know in the they'll have a little button you can click there. It now says that 70% of clients saw their score increase, okay? So then you got to do a little math there. Uh, to be able to see that that's just over 62% of clients have their credit increase and average of 40 points. Now that probably doesn't sound as good, does it? My idea with giving you that statistic is that I don't wanna be sitting there, you shouldn't go around watching reviews of people saying, hey, it worked for me, hey, it worked for me, hey, it didn't work for me, right? Because everyone's credit file is different. But they've now put the information together and gave out statistics to tell you how well they perform overall. So that can give you a kind of a benchmark of what to expect, that there's a 62% chance that your score will increase on average 40 points, right? So if you're at a 600, there's a 62% chance that you're gonna get up to 640, right? That's kind of how you wanna look at it. Now, how can you take advantage of credit repair companies and increase your chances of success? Well, that's simple. What you wanna do is you, you wanna try to fix your credit first, then hire a credit repair company to work on the hard stuff. Now, why do I say that? Guys, I have literally been on both ends, okay? I've ran a credit repair company, and now I also help people fix their credit on their own, okay? I currently run a website. Uh, it's uh, www.smartcreditblueprint.com, and there I'm pretty much showing people how to go about actually fixing their credit. We have a whole program. We have free letters that we give out that show you how to fix your credit. Now, the reason why is because I've realized that nobody's gonna work as hard as you on fixing your own credit, right? It just doesn't make sense. Think about it. The company, Lexington Law, whatever other company that's out there is gonna have to literally, they're running through files as fast as they can because that's how they make money, right? So no one's gonna take the time to make sure that the file's done as correctly as you would yourself. It's just about learning the techniques to actually get it done. Typically, the way most credit repair companies work is they're gonna focus on the easy stuff first to get some quick wins. And honestly, you, you would do the same thing if you were in their shoes, right? You wanna give the client as many quick wins as possible to keep them motivated because once the hard stuff comes, that's whenever you know, things start getting difficult. You know, when you didn't get a deletion last month, you start wondering, hey, you know, should I even stick with these guys? They, they're no longer getting me deletions like they were before, right? But the other problem that comes in is some credit repair companies will drag their feet. Instead of them trying to dispute everything at once, right, doing unlimited disputes, they're gonna dispute two or three accounts at a time. So instead of quickly knocking out the easy uh, deletions, they could drag it on for the first six to eight months. So the first six to eight months is spent dealing with easy accounts that you could have handled yourself. It's like driving to a dealership to help you with a flat tire. Instead of you just pulling out the tire out of your trunk and putting it onto the car, now you gotta pay a dealership $100 for something that could have took you 10 minutes to do. So at that point, you're gonna end up probably having paid $1,000, if not more, since most monthly fees are between $120 to $150. But even worse than that, and for me, what I think is the worst part, you've now lost eight months of your time towards reaching your financial goals that you're literally never gonna get back. So I say that to say this, you'll be surprised how many negative accounts will fall off just by sending a few letters. So we need to quit getting mad at these guys and play the game on their level. So in my eyes, just get all the easy stuff removed off of your credit report, right? I literally have free letters. I'll even link to some down below. Get all the easy stuff removed from your credit report and then have the credit repair companies deal with the difficult stuff that you haven't been able to remove yourself. Now you're gonna be able to get your money's worth and most likely won't need to stay with them as long because now they're actually gonna be focusing on, let's say three difficult accounts instead of having to focus on 10 to 15 negative accounts where there's only three hard ones. Now, I hope that makes sense, guys. I want to quickly jump into a little you know, ad segment, right? I actually have a few bills to pay. <laughs> but uh, quite honestly, guys, I have a little sponsor that I've actually recently partnered with that I wanna talk about myself, okay? It's a company called The Credit Pros. This is an Inc. 5000, you know, fastest growing credit repair services company in America currently. And the reason why I love them, I'll link to them down below so you can actually go and deep dive into their website. But the one of the main reasons that I even recommend these guys is because they even offer a guarantee. You're not gonna see this out there, right? They offer a guarantee where if they don't get you any deletions or updates of your negative accounts within the first 90 days, then you'll be able to get a refund of all fees up to that point. Also, if any negative items on your credit report that Credit Pros was able to successfully delete ends up being re-added to your credit report, they will actually reinvestigate those items again for you for no additional fee for life. 
for me, it was literally those two points that made it a no brainer and just made it worth it for people to actually try them out. Now they have three uh, different plans, but the cheapest one doesn't really have much when it comes to credit repair. I think it's more credit monitoring, but I'll let you be able to talk with them directly to figure out if it's something worth for you, okay? So click the link down below. I got a special number set up with those guys to make sure that they're taking care of the people that I sent to them. So go ahead and click down below. You're gonna see on that page the number if you wanna call them as well as they'll have a contact form that you can fill out for them to be able to reach out to you when they're available. Now, when it comes to my thoughts, it's simple. Set reasonable expectations for yourself, right? First and foremost. That's the whole point of this video is like, I wanted to make sure that, you know, whether you're looking at Lexington Law, whether you're looking at different people besides Lex or on top of Lexington Law, right? I wanted to make sure that you're setting up reasonable expectations to understand how these companies work. Second, I think that you should really work on your credit yourself first. Get all the easy negative accounts deleted first, then go to a company like Lexington Law or the Credit Pros if you like uh, my recommendation and let them and their team of lawyers deal with any of the complex negative accounts on your credit that you can't get deleted, right? What's the point of paying for lawyers to help you delete something that you could have got deleted with a letter? I'd rather they handle the difficult stuff on my end. Anyways, I hope that makes sense. Be sure to check out the links that I'm gonna put down in the description for more information. Also, you can click up here to be able to learn a little bit more about my program and how you can fix your credit yourself. Also, I also link to some videos, uh, more credit repair videos that you can check out as well. Alrighty, so that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you at the next one. Peace.